Hi, I'm Mark from Podient, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit a podcast episode using Hindenburg Journalist. So Hindenburg is one of the newest entrants to the audio editing space, and it is made specifically for radio journalists and podcasters, uh, especially those who need to edit field audio and get it up and out quickly. It's got lots of tools for exporting out into uh, different hosting platforms, and it's just a, a, a simple, not the most elegant way of editing audio, but it really will get the job done, and it shaves off a fair bit of time with you having to worry about volume levels and things like that, as we'll find out when we get into the video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So we'll start, predictably enough, by opening Hindenburg. This might look a little bit ugh, a bit scary. It's not the nicest looking application, but it will get you working quite quickly. So let's rename these tracks here. It's going to be Peter. It's our guest, Amanda. And that's our music. Now what I'm doing will pretty much work the same in both Windows and Mac. Just very slight variations. So I'm going to drag my intro here. And sometimes the zoom can be a little bit off with, with Hindenburg. Uh, it can make sort of odd dec uh, decisions about how it zooms, but um, I'm using the option key on my Mac, which should equate to the Alt key on Windows uh, and using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. You've also, of course, got your zoom in and zoom out buttons up the top there. Let's get our outro. And then Peter's side of the interview. And then Amanda's. And now let's take care here to line them up. This is what we call a double ender. This is uh, an interview that's been recorded at two ends. Actually, that looks about right. So we'll drag those to about there. That feels about right. And that goes to about there. And then lastly, we want our intro music. Now what I do want to do is just drag and select these audio clips here and just move them about there. Now what I'm going to do is cut the music off about there. And all I do is just press the B key, select the rightmost clip and delete. And then let's zoom in. And I'm going to take this drag handle, which is this really small square at the top right of the clip, and drag it left. Create a nice fade. And then scroll back a bit. We'll get to about here. And I'm going to press B again. Select the rightmost track. And bring this down a good amount. Say to about there. And then I'm going to spool back a little bit more. Press B again. Now this time, I'm holding down the shift key and clicking and dragging that right hand section. And I'm dragging it down instead of to the left. And I'm going to drag it down until it meets that point there, and then that will create a fade. A little bit fiddly, but it works. Now here, I know that there's a bit of a mistake, a bit of a stumble. So I'm going to hit B, and then B, and I'm going to hit Shift and Delete. And that's deleted the gap as well as the audio. So if I hadn't pressed 
uh, shift and just hit delete, you'd still you'd see this gap. But pressing shift creates what we call a ripple delete. So that's great for clearing up gaps. You can also create an in and an out point by pressing I and O and doing that. So instead of splitting at the different points, you just uh, press the I key to create an in point, the O key to create an out point, and then Hindenburg will select the region in between, and then you can hit delete. Just make sure you've got the right track selected when you're deleting things. So what I'm now going to do is right click the bottom track and add a master track. Let's put it in the wrong place, but that's okay. If I click this little effect button, I've got some very basic effects that I can apply. And the one that we want is this compressor here. And I think we only want a fairly light setting, so we can just pop that, pop that knob there. And then that will just bring up the vocals a little bit and damp down any particularly loud parts. Hindenburg actually does a lot of heavy lifting. Unlike pretty much all of the other digital audio workstations, Hindenburg does a lot to manage levels of speech. So there's probably not a lot of compression that you actually need to apply, if at all. So do listen to what you're editing and see if it works. Check out the volume meters at the bottom of the screen and they will let you know uh, if, if that's something you need to actually apply. But as you can see here, all of the vocals are right at the top. They peak right at the top of the waveform, and that's not a coincidence. That's because Hindenburg has analysed the audio and has made it as loud as possible without going over. So with that done, we can hit export. Let's save our file. Select MP3 as the format. We want what they call low quality. Go to options. Make sure we're happy with everything here. Mono, 64 kilobits uh, per second. And let's just be doubly certain that we've got the right sample rate, which is 44,100 hertz. Save that. And we're done. So that is Hindenburg Journalist. There is also Hindenburg Journalist Pro, which gives you a few more features, uh, and you can find more information on their website as well as pricing. Um, it is a more affordable option than some. Uh, it's not a subscription for uh, the flat journalist uh, software, so um, it is definitely worth investigating, uh, depending on your kind of workflow. So hopefully this video has given you a bit of an idea as to whether that is the kind of software that you want to use. So uh, it is uh, cross-platform, as I mentioned uh, in the screencast as well. So whether you're on Windows or Mac, you should be good to go. There's lots more information that you will find over at podient.co slash learn. Um, we've got videos, tutorials, guides, walkthroughs, all sorts of stuff to help you get up and running uh, with your podcast. And of course, you can check out podient.co slash create to sign up for our 14 day free trial of our podcast hosting service. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope this has been useful and I will catch you again in the next video. Bye bye.